Hello everyone. Um, having sat the MRCOG Part 1 exam quite recently, um, I thought I'll share with you um, some quick tips on making revision notes for the Part 1 exam um, and, and things and ideas that I used which really helped me um, cover the syllabus, um, in which, which is quite wide, um, in, a, in a bit of depth. So you're able to um, answer the questions of the exam. So um, I'm going to cover in this video how um, the approach I had to make notes. I'm also going to be sharing some of my notes with you in this video today. Let me know um, if this is useful and if this is useful I'm very very um, open to sharing um, the rest of my notes with you if you think this is going to really help you. I'm also going to be covering um, some of the syllabus um, of the exam itself. So this is the first slide um, of um, an example um, from um, some of the revision notes that I made. So um, in this um, particular slide, um, I can, I'm sharing with you some of the pelvic anatomy. Um, you can see that I always use A4 size sheets. I don't like the lined paper um, in particular because if you want to make diagrams and little maps and which I'll show you um, in my next few slides it's easier to have a plain A4 paper um, so you can work around and, and use every corner to the best um, to the, so that all the space can be used and and, and you can and you can make some some notes that will help your revision so and secondly you can see that I've use different colours and um, I think I'm a very visual person so um, in an exam I could be sitting and thinking oh actually that yellow colour meant it was all on the right side or the left side which means it was that branch or you know so it helps you to memorise things better um, when, you, when you're using um, different colours because it stands out different it looks different so your brain remembers it different so on this slide, for example, I've got the greater sciatic foramen and the lesser sciatic foramen. So um, you need to know what passes through these foramens and what are the boundaries. So so in this particular slide, that's what I've covered. Um, I've made sure that everything um, that's sort of nerves and vessel related, I'm kind of highlighting a different colour um, to to the boundaries of it. Um, another of my example from my notes itself, sorry about the um, the actual um, clarification of this page, it's, it's not great, but in this in this particular um, set of notes I'm, I'm looking at the pudendal nerve because one of one of the um, aims of the, the curriculum is to cover the pudendal nerve in quite detail so here I've got um, the branches it comes off so S2 to S4 um, how does it divide and which bits um, then supply um, the areas of the body so the three divisions and then what what else is applied so again I've highlighted a few things um, I've also put some boundaries and some things that pass through the pudendal canal on this page so um, so everything's on there all I need to do um, before an exam for example is just um, quickly look through it and and I've got it all in there so another of my um, examples, so one of one of the things that um, I'm not sure exactly if it's actually in the curriculum, but when I was doing the questions, I realised um, we do need to know about the diaphragm and what passes through it and what level um, and what supplies it. So that's what I'm covering here. And things that um, pass at the T8, T10 and T12 level, um, again, I've highlighted it in different colours um, to make it visually better um, and, and also as I said it helped recall things in an exam when you're trying to um, you know really strain yourself and remember what what was which bit because as you can imagine there is there's, there's lots of nerve roots to remember lots and lots of boundaries and contents of different things to remember so by highlighting things you you make you're ensuring that um, you can you can actually recall them in an exam, which which is the 
entire purpose of studying and revising for exam. So um, here I've also got the retroperitoneal organs. So um, there's a mnemonic called SAD, um, SAD P U C K E R. So um, so S is for the suprarenal um, or the adrenal glands. A is for aorta and the IVC. D is for the duodenum, but the second and the third part. Um, P is for the pancreas, except the tail. U is for the ureters. C is for the colon, ascending and descending only. Um, K is for the kidneys itself. Um, e is for the esophagus, but the American spelling, so starting with E, um, not the O. Um, and R is for the rectum. So these are things that are retroperitoneal, and that's what um, I've covered here. So. If you continue looking through the page, I've got um, things at the T8. So, for example, the IVC um, and the right um, right of the midline, that's where it passes through. Um, and then I've got the T10 level, um, which is the esophagus, um, the, um, the vagal um, trunks, um, the esophageal branches of the left gastric artery, and, and a few others. T12 is the main branch for the aorta, so it's T8 IVC, T10 is a vagal branch with, with part of the esophagus, and T12 is, is aorta. And these are a few things that you really need to know for the exam, um, especially for the um, you know for SBA style of questions, which which is what's used for the MRCOT Part One. Um, it really really helps to to, to know things and, and such things you just have to got to memorize them there's, there's no particular way of understanding it really um, so the, the next slide shows um, the pituitary gland so um, again um, as I was going through the questions I realized and lots of revision books also cover the pituitary gland in quite a bit of detail as you can imagine because lots and lots of um, the female reproductive hormones come, you know, are related to the pituitary gland itself. So on this page, I have covered um, where exactly is it located, um, what kind of cells are um, make up the pituitary gland, and, and what secretes, what was, what do these cells secrete, um, and how, what regulates these hormones as well, um, and also. Um, with, what are the boundaries of the pituitary fossa, which are important, um, as you can imagine, for things like if, if you have a tumour within the pituitary gland, what kind of symptoms it could could result in. If so, if you know the anatomy and where it sits, it helps a lot to, to understand that. Um, I've also put here the, the, the blood supply um, to the anterior and the posterior lobe. So um, on this page um, alone, for example, I'm, I'm using the colours not just to highlight different aspects, but to make things stand out. Because um, as you can imagine, on a page you can have lots and lots of information. But when, when you're revising, what you need to know is, is the main bits and you need to be able to remember them. And by highlighting, I'm ensuring that I, I can I can go back and, and look at these things and I would know what where where things are. Um so my next slide I'm just covering um the branches of the aorta. Again, the very, very common um questions that I came through when I was revising. Um, so what are the different branches? Um, the internal iliac artery, which also comes off, um, wh where, what does it further branch into? What does it supply? What, are, what is the anterior aspect supply and what does the posterior aspect supply? Um, I've, I've also got some further branches, small little diagrams. So um, I find if I use a plain A4 paper, I could use different sections of the paper itself to to make um, to make notes in different corners, um, so that I'm using the space in, in the best way possible. Um, this slide here, um, again, I've I've got the branches um, of the aorta and and where they're coming off, um, and and what what further branches are we dividing into which which again helps to know your anatomy and 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 again what was i was revising i um i came across lots of questions and and mind you lots of these notes that i made were from the answers 
to the questions as well. So um, when you look at the syllabus, because it's so much in depth and it's so wide, you do kind of get lost, which I did anyway, of the way to how much um, to go into detail and what notes to make. But so I kind of used the questions that I did for my revision as a guide to tell me what what I needed to know. And obviously the, on the RCOG website, you've got the syllabus as well to kind of guide you. Um, thanks a lot for watching the video. Um, please subscribe and hit the like button. Also comment and let me know um, if you like this video and if you would like to watch um, more of these videos where I'm sharing my revision tips for the exam. Um, and please share with your friends um, who are probably also struggling um, to, to, to know where to start and, and how to go about the exam. Thanks for watching.